The summer of 323 AC was an auspicious one for House Blackfire. After 20 years of near constant construction work, the beautiful palace of Summer Hall had been restored to its former glory. The lush green gardens, the richly decorated halls, the well stocked kitchen, all had been lovingly repaired and improved, and now the Targaryen's true heirs had restored that which had been destroyed just before King Melis' ascension. At Summer Hall's opening, Daemon's half brother Aenys came of age, and his thorough education had paid off. He replaced Oldor the Clueless as Master of Coin, though the Valyrian lowborn dreamer was still appointed as Master of Whisperers. But the warmth of the summer did not last. A messenger arrived shortly after the Blackfyres returned to King's Landing, bearing news that the wall was under attack. King Daemon did not hesitate to help the Brothers of the Night's Watch and their Lord Commander Anders Baratheon. A contingent of soldiers was sent north to aid in repelling the wildlings, and the soft warm breezes of Summer Hall were replaced with the sharp cold winds of winter. Luckily for the realms of men, the invasion was repelled, and the Night's Watch fulfilled its duty as their shield once more. In 325 AC, Lord Paramount Lancel Lannister, the young lord of Westerlands and Reach, fell from a high tower during a late night stroll in Highgarden. Many suspected King Daemon and his spymaster Alder the Clueless, since it was a public secret that the king had attempted to get rid of his powerful vessel several times before, but none could prove it. Certainly the king had a clear motive though. His half-brother and master of coin, Aenys Blackfire, was married to the new leader of Westerlands and Reach, Ella Lannister, who would later adopt her mother's name as Ella Tyrell. The stage was now set for a precarious Blackfire balancing act. In the west, the king's brother, Lord Consort Aenys Blackfire, ruled as Hand of the King to his wife. In the Riverlands, Aegor Dragonscale, the king's nephew through his late sister Shiera, ruled as Lord Paramount of the Trident and Hand of the King. Prince Gerald's Blackfire, the king's son and heir, still ruled in the Vale. The king had even granted him a royal privilege. The prince could call himself King of Mountain and Vale, and could wear a crown. In the future, this powerful Blackfire triumvirate might possibly be joined by Princess Larissa, the king's daughter, who was betrothed to Lord Paramount Theo Karstark of the North, though for now she was still too young. The gouty, morose King Daemon would not live forever. And with all these powerful young Blackfires, the ingredients were there for a civil war the likes of which had not been seen since the Dance of the Dragons. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Jejo Gaming. Now welcome back to your boy, Damon IV, the Gentle, who is depressed and gouty still. Uh, last episode we reached the milestone of uh, 800 gold, so within a decade or so, if, if Damon lives that long, a, a dragon should show up. Let me just check, yeah, <laughs> I did turn on uh, Audacity, so uh, you guys should hear my voice right now, my live voice. Uh, I'm a bit paranoid since a few episodes ago, I forgot to press it, and you guys didn't hear any any live voice over, but uh, it, sh it should be here now. Uh, yeah, before I continue, <coughs> I'm not fe feeling very well. I'm at home with uh, a mild uh, flu, I think. So uh, I'm, I'm feeling just about well enough to record an episode, but you know. Uh, I figured, you know, you guys have been waiting for an episode for quite a long time, and, you know, I'm sitting under a warm blanket, wearing my uh, my bathrobe, so I'm doing okay. Uh, so why not record something, you know, I was gonna play some video games anyway. Might as well chat a bit, but, uh, you know, if you hear my voice uh, strange, uh, if, you, if you think the tone of my voice is a bit strange, that's the reason. And you guys have been uh, have been waiting for an episode for quite a, quite a while, because last weekend I spent uh, the entire weekend with my family. Uh, my niece had her birthday, and then also my parents were married uh, at their anniversary, 35-year anniversary. So I, did, I didn't have time to record anything, but that's fine, you know. In the end, it's a hobby. But I figured, you know, you guys haven't seen any content for almost a week, so I uh, I, I figured I would, uh, I would record something. All right, let's go. We are now waiting for the Dragon Egg, and we're also kind of waiting for Damon to die, uh, morbid as it sounds. <laughs> because uh, when he dies... Obviously, um, the uh, there, there's going to be probably a succession crisis. Gerald is the heir, 
But the Arrow is not the best black fire around, although he's, he's not bad either. Uh, we have, of course, Aegor Dragon Skill. We have uh, Ella Tyrell's husband, Aenys. My uh, uh, cast. Uh, no, no, of course, he's not He's not in my council because he can't be. Uh, but he's the end of the king of, uh, of this, this massive. Uh, this massive uh, chunk of land here. <laughs> so he's got, he, 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 um, he can make life very difficult for us if he if he so chooses. We have, of, co of course, Aegon Dra Aegon Dragon Skill with our head of the king, Gerald, and then we have our daughter here. But uh, it will be a while before she uh, becomes dangerous. Who's our guardian? She doesn't have one, I guess. We are teaching Rhaegar. And we have another son as well. So plenty of sons to go around. And Jainar, we kind of hate him. <laughs> we uh, have all the the clueless, our... Uh, Master of Coin, train him. Alright, I'm back up to speed. It's been also quite quite a long time since I've recorded anything. It's been about a week, I think. Oh, Olador died. Okay, we were talking about you, my man. Died of severe stress. Wow. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, we should give away the City of Kings Landing. Here it is. Who should we give it to, though? We need a new Master of Coin, so I guess we could give it to him. Stefan Baratheon. Sure, you can be my Master of Coin, my man. Your, uh, your powerful ally of the Iron Throne. But we do need to give the uh, city away to somebody. Let's see. Search all. Do we have any black fires who are unlanded? Yeah, we do, because but, but but we prefer to marry them off, right? So I'm pretty sure if you give them a, a city, they won't marry. I'm not, I'm not quite sure about that. Wow, look at this guy. So Runsford Hunt, 23, uh, 23 stewardship. Base 18. Jesus Christ. Okay. You must have a great mace there, right? No, not really. Oh, man. <laughs> we have a city for you. Uh, city of King's Landing. Here you go. We will make you our master of coin when you grow up. Runsford Hunt. Is that a famous house? Theo Hunt. Tyler Hunt. Imbri Hunt. Doesn't ring a bell to me. Randall Hunt. Randall Hunt. He rings a bell, though. I don't know what he, what his... Um, what... Uh, what significance the, the hunts have, so, but um, I'm sure somebody in the comments will tell me. I really like that you guys are so invested. Um, Command of the Gold Cloaks? Yeah, sure. Run, runs for the hunt. Uh, Jaina Blackfire needs a new guardian. Yeah, of course, because um, uh, Oladar was, uh, was his guardian. We'll have Grand Maester Courtney train him. Alright. Can imprison somebody? Eh, none of these are really worthy of imprisonment, I don't think. Okay, let's go. Your son Gerald, as a member of the royal family, should be protected by a member of the King's Guard. Is he not? Apparently not. Alan Prester, sure, why not? Another son. <laughs> oh, don't another daughter. Jehera. Jehera Blackfire, right? We have a ton of kids already, so <laughs> I'm not sure if uh, if uh, if we really need her. But, you know, we, we're happy that she's here, I guess. We could marry Larissa. Oh, Larissa's already married to Theo Stark. We have Mataris. We could marry Jahira maybe to like the uh, the Prince of Dorne or something. Who do we not have a, a pact with? Let's have a look at that. Mm, Theo Stark, Tyrell, and the Trident. And I suppose also the uh, the Veil, right? Revoke non aggression pact. Uh, Offer non aggression pact. No, oh, he's he's, got, he's, re he's rejected that. Okay. Screw you. <laughs> Screw you, uh, Gerald. I guess we could marry her to uh, maybe uh, a young Prince of Dorne. This boy, maybe. Quentin of Pep. Of Pep. Olador. Yeah, this, oh, this is the... Um, right. I remember. We married uh, Olador the Clueless off to the heiress of Dorne. That's pretty great, actually. Cause the, 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 so the, the Quentin is going to inherit Dorne. Well, Desen is going to inherit Dorne because of the uh, succession laws. But Quentin is, is, I guess, a good match. Uh, arrange betrothal between you and my new daughter, Jahira. Here we go. I guess I should have married her into the family. Because uh, that's Damon's uh, obsession, I guess. Can we do some dynastic meddling? I guess uh, it's, it's not been five years yet, right? Yeah, no. Okay. Rhaegar became brave. Good. Rhaegar is turning out great. A merchant specializing in rare books and scrolls has arrived in Dragonstone seeking an audience. He has learned of your enthusiasm for reading and other learned pursuits and is offering you the chance to purchase one of his wares. Observations upon the recent bloodletting on the stepstones. Sure, why not? Is that a good book? Good book for uh, your boy Damon? Let's have a look. 
plus three Western mana being ah, that's not terrible. It's not great either, but you know. I lose a trade proud. Ah, uh, he's kind of uh, withering away, old uh, old King Damon, depressed and gouty. He's kind of uh, late. He, he's got a he's got a lot in common with Viserys actually from House of the Dragon. You see, he's got gout, which is sort of a long running, slowly uh, escalating disease. He's depressed, I guess. Viserys was not really depressed, but uh, he uh, he's leaving a realm that's very unstable. My mood swings, mostly from good temper to wrath, have made my courtiers fear me a little bit too much. I lost some prestige. A merchant specializing in rare books and scrolls. Uh, the red book? Yeah, why not? Sure, why not? Giscario pin. Okay, that's worthless. <laughs> we might give that away to somebody. Madness and greatness are two sides of the same coin, and every time a new Targaryen is born, the gods toss the coin in the air, and the world holds its breath. Okay, so we have Larissa. Who is married to Theo? Okay, she, she is cruel, I guess. Okay, that's not great. <laughs> uh, educate her at court. Very good tutor, it's fine. We are improving relations with Torin of the Iron Islands, that's fine. He's 15 years old. I guess we don't have really uh, uh, an eligible uh, Blackfire to marry to him. Torin Greyjoy is at Lord Paramount. Euron removed from their treasury. Okay, I guess he had maybe the skull of your own. Shoot to my ward. Uh, Jainar. Uh, nah, we don't care about Jainar. Princess Larissa needs a guardian. The future uh, Lady Paramount of the North. Uh, we could do it ourselves, I guess. Maybe the High Septon. Nah, we can do it ourselves, that's fine. My little son Prince Rhaegar always has his nose in the books and spends all his time with a Septon of Fate of the Seven. Okay, that's fine by me. He became zealous, so I guess he's kind of uh, deviating from uh, Tyrion Lannister now. Lord Paramount Torben II of the Iron Islands has declared Lord Paramount Torben II's war to liberate captive from Lord Stefar the Hunter. Okay. Well, good luck with that. <laughs> I don't really care. We need to seek treatment for illness ASAP. And we're gonna go with the dangerous option if we can. We can't. Okay, that's uh, that's a shame. Let's see. I actually feel better. Okay, plus two health. That's good, though. Um, we have plus two here, minus one here, minus two here. So we're not gonna live long. <laughs> I don't think we're all so fat, which I think reduces your health as well. No, it doesn't. Okay. It should, I think. <laughs> Maybe like minus minus zero point five or something. Princess Larissa is impulsive and seems unable to tell right from wrong. What should I do, which, what should I do with my wayward daughter? It's a strap for her. Don't be, don't be arbitrary, man. We're kind, right? Yeah. Uh, we can have uh, the Lord of Harlaw uh, move away from his faction, but it doesn't really help us because he is probably going to move back under the uh, Iron Island soon. Larissa is mastering the art of swordsmanship. Good. I guess we should... Um, we should try to train Prince Rhaegar. I know we can't do that, right? Because he's a dwarf. It's a bit weird, but, you know. My granddaughter died stillborn. She was strong, though. Still died stillborn, okay. Miss Gerald Blackfire has been a Leo naval servant, having successfully completed many tasks in aid of the Iron Throne. My son, an heir. It would be seen as the right and honorable th course to reward him. Uh, yeah, we can give him some money. Sure, uh, Gerald. We can, we can do that. 27, wow. 27 diplomacy, yeah? Oh, you gave a feast. That makes sense, then. You must be one of the most diplomatic people in the realm. Doesn't look like it. Uh, we have Ego Dragon Skill, who's probably feeling a bit threatened right now. By the competence of his uh, cousin, I think. This, is, uh, this council has been around for a while, though. So, uh, except for the Maester, but we don't care about him. Master of Arms died. Who was my best of arms again? It was, it was, I think, one of my family members, right? Oh no, it was the uh, Lord Commander of the uh, King's Guard. Okay, we will replace you with Lord Rosby, I guess. Sure. You a good fighter, my man? Skilled. That's fine, I suppose. Who have you trained children again? Matari's Blackfire, my five-year-old son. I'm, I'm really <laughs> struggling to keep track of all these kids, man. Matari's. Okay, uh, what will we do with you? 
I have no, no, uh, neither the time nor the money to spend on this child. Yeah, he's kind of depressed, right? Damon is sitting in his uh, in his throne or in his bed with his gouty foot. He, uh, he doesn't really care about his kids anymore, at least his younger ones. Jane Ardo is growing up. He's got blonde hair. Okay, I thought he would have... Uh, he grew up terribly, <laughs> as befits uh, how much we like him, which is not very much. Uh, Agar Blackfire wants some money. That's fine. 85 gold, man. Uh, Daisan of Pep has uh, increased her fighting skills. So this is the the heiress to Dorn, right? I don't know why she's at my court. Oh, she's the Ola she's Olador's daughter. We married Quentin off to uh, yeah to uh, Jahira. Yeah, that's good. Need a new end of the king. Oh no, we don't. We gave him some money, and then for some reason he quits his job <laughs> when we do that. I don't know why. Man is a great two sides of the same coin. So Matari's became quick. Yeah, this is a children-heavy episode, guys. <laughs> I mean, I guess it makes sense, because we don't have that much longer to live, I, I don't think. I think maybe another five or ten years, and we're a gunner. So it makes I think it makes sense to um, to have a children-focused episode. My heart missed a beat when I saw Rhaegar emerge from the dungeons, covered in grime with a bloody knife in his hands. Cruel rot Craven. Craven, okay, that's the worst one. <laughs> he lost Cruel, I guess, because I think he was Cruel, right? Oh, no, he was... Um, I don't know what he was. I don't remember. Mild Winter. In Summer Hall. My wife Shira is again pregnant. Jeez, woman. <laughs> She'll get already given me five kids. Who are my... I forget. Oh, yeah. I, I think we murdered our previous wife, right? Yeah, yeah. Maya Mattel. Oh, no, she um, died of cancer. And I'm pretty sure she died in my dungeons. If I recall correctly. Or we divorced her. I, I, don't, I don't quite remember. Then well, we sent her to the Silent Sisters. That was it. I guess she died of... Uh, Cancer while there. Oh, and there we go. Yep, we died at age uh, 48 of gout. Yeah, makes sense. I mean, I was I was kind of expecting him to die soon, but uh, he died. Okay, so Damon the Fourth taking his last breath at age 48. He died of complications related to gout. An attractive man. Damon was blessed with famously good looks. Was he? Oh, I guess so. <laughs> I didn't really notice that. Uh, may his good fortune continue now that he's with the gods. I mean, I guess he's quite attractive. I mean, if, if you if you discount the fat. You have a new heir, Prince Janar. Ah, oh, no, man. We don't want Janar to inherit. King Gerald, having mastered many skills, he is sure to be admired by all of his subjects. 25 diplomacy, that's great, actually. He's gay, though. <laughs> that's not good. Is that hidden? I, uh, I, I didn't quite... Uh, we, we, sent, we sent a gay guy over to him, I think. We sent uh, a, a, um, a guy... From the King's Guard, who had a homosexual trait over to him, I think. Uh, we're moving, blah, blah, blah. Uh, his, your grace, his grace, King Damon, has taken his last breath. May he repose in peace. Now his heir, Prince Gerald Blackfire, will take the throne and rule the Seven Kingdoms henceforth. Long live the king, yes, indeed. All right. <laughs> okay, I guess we we improved the relations with this guy ourselves. We don't have an heir, though. So I guess we can't give away the veil? Or can we? Hmm... Maybe not quite yet. Oh, a bunch of money has been distributed. Okay. My mother, my father deserves to be on with the funeral. Yes. Uh, everybody? Nah, I think my vessel's in court. It's fine. As long as we have the king, because we will, will need some money for the coronation as well. Need a new master of Lozo? My uh, my wife. Can we make her uh, head of the king now? I guess that, that needs to be uh, a woman. Agor is somewhat fine with me. Even though he has a ton of negative modifiers, he's still positive, so that's good, I guess. We will, of course, make our wife the uh, Master of Loss. That's a no-brainer. We will also make her... Oh, we have two designated regions again. That's so annoying. Resign. And we will replace you with our wife. Yep, there we go. Runeford, that's still fine. We need a new Master of Whisperers. Oh, we have a Red Priestess in the Iron, Iron, uh, Iron Throne Court. Or we could go with uh, the... Uh, Tried and true Felice, who has been our Master of Whispers for, I think, probably a decade or so. Sure, why not? Uh, I guess the new Master will, uh, will come soon. Um, I think that's fine for now. We can pick an ambition. We will obviously pick Octane the Dragon Egg. Uh, but we will also switch to... I guess I want to wanna seduce my wife. Are we lovers? Let's do that. Seduce, seduce my wife. Where is it? Seduce Alisan. 
I just found it desirable for Jer- Okay, he's gay. Right, right, right. Okay, that sucks. <laughs> that sucks. Okay. Well, <laughs> that's a waste of a focus then. Uh, we are doing fabricate evidence of somebody, some guy's treason. We are antagonizing somebody. Stop that. I don't know why the AI always does that. Um, we have, we need a maester. That's, that's probably arriving soon. We have a ton of, uh, a ton of young children that we need to train. I guess we could do it ourselves. Larissa, uh, Shira Blackfire, could have our wife do it, I guess. But this is my, uh, oh, not my mom, I guess. No, no, she's the, um, my stepmom again. Yep, this, uh, this, this stepmom doesn't hate me as much as, uh, Damon's stepmom hated him. Uh, runs for turns, sure, why not? And Rhaegar, I kind of want to train him myself. I guess we'll arrive soon, yes. Lovely on food, yep. I hope he serves us all. New maester. 45 year old maester, 18 learning, pretty good, pretty good guy. All right, um, is he doing stuff? Doing maestery things? Yes, okay, good. Uh, ask for help with managing your titles. Yeah, so we, we should give away the veil, I guess, to somebody. But I kind of prefer not to. Do we move back to King's Landing? I guess maybe maybe Gerald is a bit less obsessed with the uh, with obtaining the dragon. Hmm. Um, yeah, yeah, let's move back to King's Landing. I think uh, we want to stay in the Red Keep. It's more uh, more prestigious, right? Okay, Rhaegar, my boy. I think you are second in line to the throne, right? Or third? Let's have a look. Yeah, Jainar, I guess we need to murder him if we can. I guess we can't do it. Oh, no, we can. We can kill him. Mm, would Gerald do that, though? I mean, I guess so. It's pretty clear to the realm that uh, oh, we can investigate his legitimacy. Let's do that. Because I'm pretty sure that he is um, he's a bastard. So let's do that. Fabricate evidence. Ah, we might do that later, but let's first see if it uh, will go by itself. Uh, but what about the veil, though? I guess we will we will, we will, we will hang on to it uh, until the um, uh, until we, we get a proper son and heir. So I guess we will have to give away the rest of it. That's not really nice, but I guess that's uh, necessary. Castle of the Dragon Gate, Castle of the King's Gate. I prefer to keep those. And I prefer to keep Dragonstone and the Eyrie. The rest I think we can give away. We need to give away one more thing. Summer Hall now, we're gonna keep Summer Hall. I guess maybe one of these castles. Castle of the King's Gate? Sure, why not? Alright, we're back. We won't give away the veil until uh, until we get an heir. So let's wait with that. Uh, what can we do? Fabricate evidence of legitimacy? Yeah, maybe later. We give titles to whoever I want, thank you. Yeah, screw you. Screw you. Screw you, guys. Who, who even are you? Wow! Oh, Lost of the Veil. Right, 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 okay. Screw the expedition. Yep, it is. We must select the Warden of the East. Oh, yeah, but yeah, we don't have a Veil man, man, man anymore. Uh, Lord Wallace Stone. Fine, I don't care. Uh, parts of the castle where the guests would be staying have to be, be, be repaired. Okay, yeah, repair it. Is the, uh, yeah, so people are joining me. Okay, Lady Paramount Ella comes to you with the results of the investigation. She points out that Prince Jainar seems to lack the distinguishing features of his alleged father. He sure does. Evidence of one. Let's see how, how far we get. Some of my guests did not seem satisfied. Okay. Sir Ol Oliver Waters has used his attendance. Okay, we're gonna have to all the, um, all the kingly duties. He's gonna do my duty. Uh, he claims that uh, someone has had his kinsman murdered. The Alyssa. She's dead already, right? Um, are we gonna imprison her? Oh, no, she's not dead. She's a whole lot. Oh, she probably did it, yeah. Arrest her. Okay, she left. Fine. His feast begins, Lady Alenai Blount. Okay, this is the Blount family. Um, one of them was regent for quite some time. I don't quite remember who it was. Giles? No. Ariane? Ariane, I think. Yeah. Long time ago. Uh, I will send uh, Lord Voldoran to deal with the problem. Sure, why not? No? Okay. He failed. This woman fled. We become friends with Wallerstone. Okay, we, uh, we gave him the uh, the title of... Uh, what was it? Uh, Warden of the East. That's fine. We're not going to give you the, uh, the, the kingdom, though. So it is done. 
Um, he was a man. He was a man and was unyielding in his devotion to their vows, as well as being most fair to look upon. Well respected swordsman, being one of the more capable in history. Wielded the famous uh, Valyrian steel great sword Blackfire, once the weapon of Aegon the Conqueror. So it is done. We should uh, we should wield Blackfire as well. We'll take all these. Uh, why can we not encrypt these? Artifact is inactive. Is it? Why? Oh, we need uh, more learning. Okay, fine. Uh, Blackfire is already equipped. That should do it then. Uh, ask for a false, false vision. <laughs> okay. Uh, I, I don't think we need to fabricate. I think he's legitimately a bastard. So let's uh, let's wait. Raylinor. Okay. I was born to my dad still. Raylinor Blackfire. All right. I guess we should have we should have picked family focus though. How long have I been recording? Let's let's have a look at that. Uh, it can be a bit longer. Bring me the greatest knights in all the realm. Richard Tarth. Nope. Holy shit. Donald of Goodgate. He is uh, this this man. Formidable fighter. Matos Royce. Sure. He's a bit old. But that's fine. Uh, chance to prove my worth. Are we going to fight in the tourney? Are we any good? Or decent, I guess. But I think Gerald... Is he interested? He's a trained fighter. Proud, cynical. A foolish chance for fleeting glory. That sounds like a cynical thing. We'll lose some prestige, but we have, we have plenty, right? Um, naive appeaser, that's shit. <laughs> that's terrible. But uh, we still have 25 diplomacy, so I guess it doesn't matter that much. Alright, um, let's continue. We want to be crowned, though. Do we not have to do that? I guess not. I guess we're already crowned as uh, King of the Veil, vale, probably. A few weeks ago, a Kathy noble named Tercito Hayao Sawan arrived in King's, King's Landing. Okay, welcome, my man. Uh, call the Great Council. Nope. Can we not... Uh, not organize a coronation ceremony? I guess not. Mm. Yeah, this, this song is too loud. <laughs> Let's turn that down a bit. There we go. Uh, the ones who ridicule Rhaegar for his weakness are getting more and more scornful. Rhaegar, don't you worry about it. It will be better soon. Or we could say, I will speak up for the child and stop the uh, bullying. Fine. We will do that. Um, I believe that one of your vessels can be discouraged. He, did, he, did he imprison his wife? Yeah, he did. Lyra of the Trident. Southmere. Random, uh, random woman. Random Dornish woman. Ask politely. Let's see. Oh, he's got minus six opinion of me, though. Threatened by claim fabrication. Did we fabricate a claim? I don't remember that. Fabricated claims on my lands, did we? I guess we did. <laughs> I don't want I don't want that though. Um obligate him. I am your uh, your king, cousin. Please listen to me. Oh, he, he um he accepted. Okay, that's good though. Because Ooh, is this gonna Oh this is gonna move move uh, he was already an affection to put himself on the throne, okay. Shira Blackfire, my uh, cousin and stepmom. I guess marry as you please, you're 30 years old. You can pick your own uh, pick your own husband. Uh, we have Dangers Beyond the Wall, the other lands. I hope it's not the actual others. No, it's not. It's just uh, it's just some uh, some wildlings. Still, that's right north at dawn. We are we are good. Three thousand troops, that's not a lot. That's not a lot. Um, what about Agor? We wouldn't mind raising your troops. Not a 3,000, not a lot. Not a lot. Hmm, okay. Uh, do we have that few? No, we don't. We have plenty of army levies. I guess there's nobody wants to join me or something. Um, I have quite enough courtiers already. What about the Westerlands? They must have a big army, right? 60,000. Let's split that in half real soon. And do this. Let's move them up. We wouldn't mind them uh, being weakened a little bit. You guys can uh, can go down. Will we lead ourselves? Can we? We, we can, but we're terrible. Um, I would prefer somebody who is an organizer. That will help speed things up. And I guess let's raise him to nobility or people will complain about that. 80 gold. I think we're gonna do it. Oh, did, he, did that make him move out as a commander? That sucks. <laughs> Silly game. Here we go. Move him back. Mortimer and Preston. Fine, why, why not? Place it, placate him with smooth words. 
All right, improve relations. Let's move up to King's Road. Up to Winterfell, people. Deal with this wildling threat. I owe you nothing, Septon. You're just a Septon. You should be beyond uh, petty things like compensation, my man. Or true, uh, true faith of the Sevener. We will need to change this beard, though, because it's hideous. We could just shave it. Ah, we can, we can do the side, the side burns. That's quite nice. See the strong. Okay, we have another. She points out that Prince Jaina looks nothing like his alleged father. Of course, it's so obvious in hindsight. Another piece of evidence. Um, probably follows the Relore religion. Mm, fabricate evidence. You can publish it, I guess. Publish it. Time to send the ravens. Uh, it's done. You watch the ravens fly from your keep, delivering your letter to all the lords of the realm. Soon the whole world will know the truth. See what happens. You have two pieces of evidence, so that should be fine, I guess. This guy becomes a bastard, then Rhaegar will be the heir, I think. Yeah, my half-brother. He's pretty great. Matari's Blackfire needs a guardian. Fine, uh, my heir can do it. <laughs> Who hates me? Um, I will order Lord Paramount Aegor to stand down. Yeah, stand down, my man. Okay, I guess he can't. He's not gonna. Uh, where's my army? It's up here. Your investigation of Prince Jainar is progressing well. You have collected much evidence already then. When observing Jainar's siblings, you realize that they share many features too. And also must be bastards. Rainies, Blackfire. Married to the Lord of the Arbor. Um, gain evidence by one. Yeah, I mean, we need the evidence. So that's fine, I suppose. Um, is that it? Why is he not becoming a bastard? Rhaegar, no, you can't be arbitrary. It's a trap for you. Oh, and uh, Lord Permit Torben is going on a great reefing. That is fine, as long as you don't bother us with it. Best revolt, eh, we'll deal with that later. We are almost done fighting these wildlings. Sir Aenys Blackfire is hiring men for an attack against me. Ouch, okay. That's dangerous. <laughs> I hope his wife won't join him, because then we will have a big, big problem. I hope he's not prone to accidents. I'm not sure if I'm going to try to kill him. He is my kinsman, right? On the other hand, we are trying to, well, not kill JNR, but I think we'll have it play out. It will be fun. <laughs> We're not going to try and kill him. We'll see uh, if we can if we can beat him off in a few years. Is that a dirty word in English? Beat him off? I don't think so, right? Or is it? Still do much good. Another b bunch of piety, prospering. My confessor Lucas is such an attractive man. I've wrapped my ample charms. If I've my ample charms, I can tell you he's thinking of other things than the smith. Yep. Storm him. Storm the, storm, storm the wildling camps. It's, it's, I mean, we, 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 we've already... Oh, normal winter. Okay, so the winter is, is doing worse now. We've already... Um, what, was I, what, what was I gonna say? I, I don't remember. Okay, it doesn't matter. Uh, good work, your grace, into my dungeon. I guess that, that one is a war, right? Peasant Revolt has, is over as well. Torren, fine. I shall be merciful. We get a lot of pop-ups because we're very late in the game. Um, sure. Adventure Threats, I think we'll do with that next episode. Oh, he's already here. King Aenys of the Iron Throne has declared King Aenys' claim on the Iron Throne war on King Gerald of the Iron Throne. Okay. Lord Paramount of the Trident is joining. My parent of the Stormland is joining. Everybody, please join me. Desperately, we desperately need it. We did, <laughs> we did lose like 20k Reach troops. So I don't know if she's gonna join her husband, the Lady of the Reach. Master of Coin is gone. Runeford Hunt, yeah, that's the new guy, right? The young guy who we gave, uh, we gave to him uh, the City of Kings Landing. Okay, everybody, please join me, though. I don't know what's happening with this bastard thing. Fabricate evidence of legitimacy. Ask for a false, false vision. No, I, I don't need a vision. Who's joining me? Come on, guys. Oh. Oh, dear. Okay. The Iron Throne. 30,000 troops. Oh, dear. We might lose this, guys. We might lose this. Are you fighting me? No. This is just as event spawned troops, huh? Wow. That's impressive. You found so many. Uh, we will move this army down south. 
maybe uh, if the North is willing to join me, uh, pick up some of his troops. Can we do that? With an aggression pact? Sure. A wise choice from Lions. Yes. Because there's a pregnant wall. Oh, they're already at King's Landing. Ouch. Call him to arms. Come on, Lord of the North. Maybe. Okay, that, that maybe it usually means yes, I think. Of course, they will honor my obligation. Okay, so the North has joined. The Trident has joined. The Veil, I guess, has joined, but we don't see it uh, quite yet. Okay, I think we will deal with that next episode, because I'm already feeling quite uh, <laughs> quite feverish. So I think I'm going to call it a day and edit, uh, edit this video while I uh, take some, uh, some time to rest. Okay, so thank you guys for watching. Uh, sorry for the dearth in, uh, in content, but it'll keep coming, don't you worry. Uh, it might take some uh, a little bit longer here and there, but uh, it'll keep coming, don't you worry. Um, yes, thank you guys for watching. Uh, we will see what King Gerald is up to in the next episode. Thank you. Bye-bye.